We arrived at Colombo, the capital of Sri Lanka. And now we are heading from the airport to the city center. First impressions are quite controversial as we've been living in the Southeast Asia for a year and a half and here in the South Asia everything seems so different. But the very first thing we noticed is people. They are very friendly, they are always ready and eager to help you, starting from our hotel owner uh, to the bus driver. Of course, we are foreigners and they want to earn some money from us, but it doesn't seem so unpleasant as in other countries. They seem to be quite sincere. Our plan is to stay in Colombo for two days and then we will go to Hikadu, Unawatuna, Gale, Ella, Nuvara Elia and Candy. So it will be the whole months of traveling around Sri Lanka. Uh, we are coming closer to Colombo and uh, it is quite like India, but you know, India of a healthy person. <laughs> that is what you expect when you are going to India and not all the trash which you can find in the actual India. But still, Colombo is also very vibrant, bustling, hustling, crowdy and not uh, the best place to live at all, not the most pleasant place in the world. city is actually like a big market. Uh, we tried to get SIM cards first, uh, but we failed and we just uh, decided uh, to go to our hotel. Sri Lanka is considered to be quite a safe place for tourism, but uh, still we didn't feel safe uh, completely. As usual, in Asia it is very hot. Here more than 30 degrees, about 32 or 35 degrees in the afternoon. And uh, if you walk on foot, you can come across some interesting places, interesting buildings, temples, both of uh, like Buddhism architecture and colonial one. Write in the comments if you want to visit Sri Lanka one day. Let's count how many of us want to. And this is our room. It is very simple and cheap, uh, $20 a night uh, and also there is a breakfast uh, which is uh, not actually very good, just Sri Lankan breakfast, yeah, you see, and uh, the room is very simple, nothing additional, not even a wardrobe here, uh, but the toilet is quite good, the bathroom is quite good, I liked it. Yeah, it's quite okay to stay in such a room for us for two days while we are exploring the city. As for the food, we found a canteen just near our hostel. This is traditional Sri Lankan food, uh, rice with toppings. Again, uh, the owner of the cafe is very friendly and the price is just one dollar for one person. So let's go exploring Colombo. I have made a map with all the interesting points on it. I have already made a video about how I managed to explore everything. We are going to the city center and I want to tell you more about Colombo itself. This city has a rich history that dates back over 2000 years and it served as an important trading port in ancient times, attracting merchants from various parts of the world. Actually, it seems uh, an important trading center now because it attracts uh, the people from all around Sri Lanka. The city's strategic location in the Indian Ocean made it a center for trade, particularly in species, pearls and ivory. Over the centuries, Colombo was ruled by various kingdoms and empires, including Portuguese, Dutch and British. That's why we can find here a lot of colonial architecture. 
in the 16th century the Portuguese arrived and established control over the coastal areas of Sri Lanka, including Colombo. They built forts and other structures, some of them still stand today, such as Colombo Fort. And now it's the center of the railway situated in Colombo Fort. The buses come to Colombo Fort, so if uh, you want to catch a bus, for example, it will say Fort, Fort, not just Colombo. So, in the 17th century, the Dutch East India Company oisted the Portuguese and took control of Colombo. They further developed the city's infrastructure and expanded trade networks. As we see now, we are going along uh, the colonial district and there are much fewer people than in the trading district. <laughs> That's all you should know about the city, yeah. In uh, 1796, the British captured Colombo from the Dutch and made it the capital of the colony of Ceylon. So, so you see, Sri Lanka was called Ceylon for many years. Under British rule, Colombo flourished as a center of commerce and administration. The British introduced modern amenities and transformed the city's landscape with the construction of railways, roads and buildings. Of course, colonization is very bad and Sri Lankan people don't like speaking about it. So, after gaining independence from British rule in 1948, Colombo continued to grow as the capital of Sri Lanka. It has evolved into a modern metropolis while still retaining traces of its colonial past in its architecture and cultural heritage. Today, Colombo is a vibrant city with a diverse population, bustling markets and a thriving economy. It is home for numerous businesses, financial institutions and corporate headquarters. And of course, Colombo is a huge transportation hub with major highways, railways and an international airport connecting it to other parts of Sri Lanka and the world. We will try to go by train to Hikadua next days and I will show it to you, of course. Also, the traffic here is quite moderate, uh, it is left hand but much less intense than in Vietnam or in Thailand. If you have any questions about Colombo and Sri Lanka, write in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and look, we found a very tasty bakery with delicious cakes. On our second day in Colombo, we started searching for a SIM card. Uh, because uh, it is not so comfortable to go outside of your hotel without a SIM card in a foreign country and yesterday we didn't have enough power for it. In the Southeast Asia, in Thailand and Vietnam, there are a lot of similar shops situated in one street. So you can find one street of clothes, for example, or one street of fabrics, or the street of phones or the street of fruit. Yeah, it is interesting. And again, we are going through a big, big market, which seems to be the cultural center of the city, actually, the main attraction of the people around. So I guess that all those people come from different corners of Sri Lanka to buy something in Colombo. And still, though, it is very similar to India, you can walk along the street, because in India you cannot, there are too many people and it is not comfortable at all. Here it is quite comfortable, not the best way, but still quite comfortable. And people here are wearing sometimes traditional costumes, uh, there are not many women there are many women but uh, there are much more men and it is uh, very unusual we found a good shop and uh, we are buying a sim card here we bought two sim cards uh, and it's dialogue mobile operator they are quite cheap two sim cards both for five gigabytes uh, are about uh, one dollar and a half 
something like this we decided to try because internet in Sri Lanka is very bad uh, especially it is bad uh, in the hotels uh, and uh, there there are often uh, power offs and internet offs yeah where they switch off electricity and internet at all we are prepared we want to go to the museum so we are ordering a taxi in the app pick me up it is a good app and uh, very cheap our tuk-tuk is coming and uh, we will go for uh, four kilometers or something something like this and uh, the price will be less than one dollar so it is a good price and i like uh, having a ride uh, in Tuk Tuk because it is always so fun again not in India because in India uh, some people can even go into your Tuk Tuk in Sri Lanka it is uh, refreshing and uh, quite amusing on the way we saw some interesting buildings again and while we are going to the National Colombo Museum, I want to remind you of subscribing to me not to miss all the next videos about Sri Lanka and the world. So it's the National Museum. The entrance fee is about $4 and it is quite worth it because the museum is really huge it has 15 big halls and uh, the exposition is very rich and the building itself is very beautiful i love such kind of buildings i am a big fan of such architecture so if you are in colombo i do recommend you to visit uh, this museum because it makes the impression of the city full so here are our tickets and we are going inside the museum i won't show you a lot because again it's museum and it takes money for getting inside and i don't think that uh, a lot of people watch museums on youtube yeah you'd better come and watch it with your own eyes that's what the museums are made for i really like this atmosphere and the exposition itself near the museum you will find a lot of art galleries and even the street with some street paintings and it is actually art too because it represents the modern artistic views of uh, the country and the city we like uh, walking along such streets and we'll always do it and here also you can find a big park with a lot of animals actually in sri lanka you can everywhere find animals but here are elephants can you imagine just elephants in the park and there are also some horses well, I think that uh, two days are quite enough for seeing Colombo all over. Uh, you don't have to stay more here if you are planning to visit all Sri Lanka's interesting places because it is uh, more of a transportation hub than uh, of a pleasant city to live in. Subscribe to my channel if you want to explore more in Sri Lanka and over the world. It's been Tanya Jakova. I was so glad to see you. See you in my next videos. Bye bye.